Vincenza joined the City of Moore as the Public Works Director in April of this year, but the road to Moore began on the other side of the Atlantic. I grew up in Ghana mostly, um, my um, young years, um, up until after college, um, when I got my first degree, my bachelor's degree, and then I moved from Ghana to London, UK. In London, Mensa worked in transportation engineering until 1997, when two things brought him to Oklahoma. Actually, school. And at the time, um, my, my girlfriend at the time was also here in Oklahoma. So I got admitted to OU to do a master's program in civil engineering. Mensa's master's degree in civil engineering from OU was focused on environmental engineering, water and wastewater infrastructure, and his relationship with his girlfriend became something quite a bit more. She's my wife now. Following graduation, Mensa was an engineering manager for the Oklahoma Water Resources Board, focusing on water standards for the state's lakes, rivers, and streams, and as a project engineer on various water and wastewater projects. From there, Mensa moved to the Department of Environmental Quality. Where I worked there as a, um, a district engineer in public water supply, I was in charge of seven counties, all the water systems in those seven counties. Following another stint at the Water Resources Board and several years as a project engineer for Lawton, Mensa landed in Norman, where he was the streets superintendent and projects engineer. Um, my beginning of my career was in water, wastewater, dams, stormwater, drainage, and um, as time went on, I expanded into more of civil engineering stuff and got into transportation and um, road, road works and all that. Mensa says his new role as Moore's Director of Public Works is the kind of job he has always dreamed of. I'm, I'm so passionate about civil engineering for a number of reasons, but one that really stands out is um, almost every project that you do in civil engineering improves the quality of life of somebody and, and the citizens, and you can actually see it. You can see the building being built, you can see the roads, you can see the bridges, you can see. So it's something that you can actually uh, see, touch, feel, that helps people to improve the quality of life and, and believe it or not, save lives as well. Mensa and his family have lived in Moore for 14 years, which made his decision to pursue the position of Public Works Director a natural choice. So I consider myself as I'm from Moore. And um, even though I didn't work in Moore, I worked with the state and then, and then the other cities. And, but I've always um, taken keen interest in, in City of Moore's operations and, and how it is done. And coming to Moore is like homecoming for me. And um, there's uh, no better way to help home than just to come work for home and then help to improve the quality of life of the citizens of Moore. As he began his work on a long list of public works projects under his watch, Mensa says he quickly discovered an important thing about the city of Moore. I've also learned that the citizens truly, I've been to other municipalities and, and in Moore, people truly care about the city and they're very passionate about and, and expect, have high expectations of uh, of the city employees to provide that exceptional service that they deserve. One of the projects that will ultimately make life so much better for residents is the new public works building. And that um, is very exciting because the new building will replace uh, buildings that were built in the 60s. The building will also house all public works but animal warfare. So it's exciting to see all of our people in one building it will help our fleet maintenance work inside the building and not outside in the elements when it's raining and stuff like that. As he becomes more familiar and comfortable with his new role, Mensa says he realizes that he's following in the footsteps of the exceptional people who came before him. Um, my goal is, one, to build upon what they've done, um, to create a very positive work environment for all of our guys 
and to make sure that we have the tools, the training and the equipment that we need to be able to provide that exceptional service that our citizens deserve. Thank you.